guys welcome back to my channel my name is Olena and I'm an English teacher in Busan South Korea and this channel is to document about my life here um, so as you may have noticed um, I was going to have a three-day series about my trip to Gyeongju and something really really <laughs> terrible happened and I know that this is hap this happens to probably most rookie YouTubers, new YouTubers. Um, all of my data, all of my videos, all of my photos, they all got wiped off my SD card. <sighs> I tried everything. I looked online. I did all the different steps. Um, I downloaded like three different software programs to try to recover the files. I did everything in my power to try to save all of my photos and all of my videos. I mean, in that camera, it was everything from my experience in Korea. And I was so excited about the next video. Um, I was making a video about a really really famous Buddhist temple actually there was two two really really famous Buddhist temples and it was about the Lunar New Year and I was learning how to do voiceover and I had all these fun like historic facts about these places I spent 10 hours working on this video 10 hours working on this video and little by little every video clip that was in the software program was starting to not work or it they just like kind of disappeared and I'm like what's going on so I would you know turn my computer on and off turn my software on and off and it just got worse and worse to the point that I couldn't open any of the files on the SD card and the SD card was full and it showed that I had the files, but whenever I would open it, it would just be empty or it wouldn't be readable. And that was like such a heartbreaking moment because it's all the memories, all the first times of me seeing and experiencing things in Korea. It was all erased. And I was planning on getting an external hard drive for a long time and I was just waiting until I could afford it. But I guess I waited too long. I waited until my SD card got corrupted. Um, so I just thought to do like a little bit of like a short vlog, maybe a little bit of an update um, about my life in Korea. Um, so I've been here post uh, quarantine um, about two months, a little over two months. And two months it honestly feels like i've been here for like two years and it's interesting because i think time it's f two things like time goes by very fast um the life in south korea is very fast paced and the hours that i work it doesn't give me any opportunities to really do too much before or after work um before work I only have a short amount of time to just like kind of relax, get into the groove, cook breakfast, get ready for work. And then afterwards, most things are closed. It's nighttime and you know, it's the winter, so it's already dark. People are going home. Um, yeah, so I try to have really active weekends. Um, the weather hasn't been very pleasant the last few, the last couple of weeks. It's been like kind of rainy and cold and I'm just waiting for the spring. I'm waiting for it to warm up already. And I'm, I look forward to blue skies. So once the blue skies come out and the weather's a little bit nicer, I want to venture out a little bit, see a little bit more in nature and uh, beautiful landscapes. Um, there's so much to see just in Busan, even if I just have do two days. Uh, so I look forward to, you know, doing that and exploring a little bit through Busan. Um, I also bought a couple of really interesting teas that I thought you would be interested to see what they're like. So Korea has so many different types of teas and a lot of them are not really like 
herby teas they're usually using like some kind of like a grain or like a fruit a dried fruit of some sorts so this i thought would be interesting it's a korean royal palace tea and it looks like it has cinnamon some dried fruit um what looks like maybe ginger and get this black tea is very hard to find here just like i i'm also quitting coffee i quit coffee already and thank god my headaches are gone um so i was looking for some black tea to you know try to like wean myself off caffeine and it was so hard to find i don't know why even green tea is not that easy to find and you would think that in south korea since it's like close to china close to japan that they would have a lot more green tea but it wasn't super easy to find um but i finally found it in one store and i grabbed like a bunch of boxes and um it is expensive like if you buy it there's a lot of cafes here which is super cool and they're all really beautiful but uh the coffee and even like the desserts cost about as much as they do at like a Starbucks. So, you know, it would it's a good way to save money and to help my teeth. Speaking of teeth, um, I did get new braces. If you know me, you know that I was in Morocco and I got my braces in May of 2019. The plan was to finish the whole treatment in Morocco, but because of COVID, and the kind of job that I had, I was working at a hotel whose clients were mostly from uh, North America. So of course, you know, with COVID and international travel being almost non-existent, like um, the city was mostly kind of shut down. Um, it was just really hard to stay there. I couldn't do it anymore. Um, so I had to leave uh, the orthodontist. And then when I came back to Korea, when I came to Korea, I, um, I knew that I needed to finish my treatment. But unfortunately, um, most orthodontists, they do not continue a past orthodontist work. So I had to start all over again. And I do have health insurance, but it doesn't cover braces and my braces are going to cost about 5 million won which is around $4,400 you know and it's a good chunk of cash but it is about half the price of American braces um, and you know unfortunately all the money that I've spent in uh, Morocco which was about $1,500 for braces all of that is just kind of <laughs> I guess it kind of just like went to waste um, because when I came to Korea, I went to three different orthodontists and they all said that the braces, the brackets weren't put in the very good positions. And my, I have like a really strong overbite and that overbite was not fixed. They said I need, I need um, some extra support more than just having braces. I also need extra retainers during my treatment. So it was so thorough. They were way more thorough and were way more detailed than the Moroccan orthodontist. And get this, I have a personal interpreter. Yeah, I have a personal translator who is with me during the entire appointment. Um, so the last appointment when I got my top braces in, I was there for over two hours and she was there with me the whole time. She was so nice, so sweet. And here's a twist. Yes, she translates into English, but she also translates into Russian. And because I'm from Ukraine and I speak Russian, I was able to practice my Russian with her. So it's like I get a little of a Russian, you know, lesson. One thing that I also noticed with my teeth is that they become a lot more yellow. And I, I don't really know why, because, you know, I take care of my teeth really well, but they've turned like really kind of embarrassing yellow. And especially being in front of a camera, you want them to be pretty and white and maybe there's no fluoride in the toothpaste i'm not sure I, I don't know what the issue is so i would love to get them whitened 
as soon as I get my braces off. Another tea that I found to be really interesting is a ginseng tea. Yeah, a ginseng tea. And I didn't even know this, but uh, South Korea apparently sources like the highest quality ginseng in the world, I'm guessing. Uh, it's called Korean red ginseng. And it's very rare, which is why it's quite expensive. Even in Korea, it is still about a hundred dollars for like a package of ginseng. I want to look a little bit more into it. Um, I've heard it can be like a caffeine replacement, like it gives you the same amount of energy without the caffeine. So I'll have to look into it and to see if it's worth the money. And yeah, so today I'm going to go to a little cafe uh, with Fu'ed. So I'll um, document that. And before we do that, I'm going to try this tea and see how it tastes. Tastes like a black tea that has a little bit of cinnamon and fruit in it. Really nice.
Hey guys, so we just got back from Jompo and I went to the English library in Busan. It is big and it has basically any kind of book you could imagine, which I'm so lucky to have. Um, so I got a couple of books. We're both going to read the five love languages. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. I'm sure many of you have read it. So it's going to be a nice book to read as a couple and look what I saw in the new arrival section. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'll keep you updated. 